Please welcome Arizona State Representative Mark Fincham. Thank you for joining us, Representative Fincham. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. And how would you like to be addressed today? Please call me Mark. Okay, Mark. Well, let's start off with Arizona Republicans. They have pushed legal means to curb early voting in the state of Arizona, but Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs says that this would create chaos in those counties that would need to create more places to vote in order to handle this. What's your reaction to this? Uh, I think that's an excuse, quite frankly. Uh, I'm, there are two kinds of people in this world. There are the, the, the kind that say, we can't, and then there are the kind who say, how do we? I'm in the how do we camp, and I think that she is in the we can't camp. Um, now, the, the issue that we've got is that early voting is a contributor to election. The problem we have is when people can vote early, they also, they, meaning government officials and political types, are able to count the votes early. And that means that, well, you maybe you have a, uh, your thumb on the scale of election justice, and you could find out who is leading and make up the votes. I mean, they do that in Pennsylvania. In fact, they've, I think they've done that in, in just about every state. Um, they, meaning the, the folks who would like to control elections and make them selections as opposed to elections of the people. And why um, are you running for Arizona Secretary of State? Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm running for Secretary of State. But moreover, in the, the legal matter, um, there is a serious question as to whether or not voting early is even constitutional. It says that we shall meet on a day, not a week, not a month, on a day. So um, we're addressing that in the courts, and I think that uh, ultimately we will prevail. Um, now, one of the reasons that I'm running for Secretary of State is because we have pervasive irregularities. Everything from ballot harvesting to multiple voters voting multiple times. Um, we've got over 207,000 ballots, and that's a conservative number, by the way. Over 207,000 ballots that they, they meaning Maricopa County, cannot demonstrate a chain of custody for. That means that we have no idea where they came from. We have no idea that they were legitimately in the system. So we've got some major problems in Arizona, and that's what I aim to fix. And what do you make of former President Donald Trump's endorsement of Blake Masters in the GOP primary for U.S. Senate, and as opposed to Brnovich, who did not bring any charges for alleged voter fraud in the state? Well, I, I think that uh, that may be, it may be premature to say that he hasn't brought any, um, because he has brought some indictments down in Yuma. Um, I think it's a larger question of RICO investigations, racketeering investigations, are very complicated and they take a long time. And I understand that the polity is is <laughs> grown impatient. I've grown impatient. But I also come from a law enforcement background. Um, 21 years as a DPS officer in West Michigan. Um, I understand that racketeering cases, uh, as you w work your way up the food chain of the bad guys, it takes a while. And I think that we are going to see a significant number of indictments eventually. Um, the folks at True the Vote are probably going to drop a 10 megaton bomb sometime in July and demonstrate just how pervasive the fraud is. So with that, I, I, I don't understand the president's selections. Um, but it's not my job to, to question him on that. He, it, we all have a personal franchise to make endorsements. I've made some endorsements that some of my, my uh, constituents might look at me and say, what are you doing? Well, I've talked to these people. I trust them. Um, so apparently there's enough there for the president to make a decision on who he trusts with perhaps one of the most powerful seats in the state of Arizona. Arizona State Representative Mark Fincham, thank you so much for your time today. My pleasure. Thank you.